Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today we will be talking about these three legendary cards. There are a lot of things to consider. What are you primarily using the credit card for? And can you meet the minimum spending? What's the goal? Like, are you planning to travel? Are you just going to use it for everyday spending? Or are you like me, who likes to eat? So, depending on these factors, the credit card that you decide to pick might be different. And the first thing to consider is definitely what's the current sign-up bonus? So you have heard Venture X and the Sapphire Preferred was offering all-time highs, but unfortunately, that doesn't exist anymore. So considering today's sign-up bonus, which one of these cards should you get? And for the Venture X, it offers 75,000 points with a minimum spending of $4,000 in three months. It has an annual fee of 395. Next up, we have the Amex Plat. I like the Resi one because it offers you more points for when you eat at the restaurant. Unless you have Sparrow from a friend or some sort of all-time high offer from Amex directly, then it's probably better off to get the Amex Plat from Resi. You get a sign-up bonus of 125000 and then you spend $6,000 in 6 months. For the Chase Sapphire Preferred, it offers you 80,000 points and then you spend $4,000 in three months with an annual fee of $0 for the first year. So I marked them yellow because you might be wondering, hey, I don't see any of these offers online. That's because it's not online. These are the offers from your local Chase branch. So call Chase, go to your local Chase branch, ask them about it. They will make it free for the first year. And uh, instead of 60K points that they're currently offering on the market, they offer you 80K which is only 20k less than the all-time offer. So that's a very good deal, considering that you don't have to pay anything for the first year. Next up, we have the Chase Reserve from the Sapphire series. And uh, it's only offering 50k points, and then you spend $4,000 in three months. And it has an annual fee of $550. As we can see out of all these cards, the AMAC is the most expensive one. But that doesn't tell us much. So here is when the APV comes in hand. So APV is the average point value that you can get. So it's the minimum amount that the point will worth. And how do I know that? It's the amount that you can use to pay back yourself, meaning pay for a credit card purchase, use it as a cash back instead of using it as points. And currently Venture is offering one cent per point. Amax is offering 0.7 cents. Prefer is offering one cent. Chase Reserve is offering 1.5 cents. So in the average point value, we can clearly see that uh, the Chase Sapphire Reserve wins in the category. So next up, I calculate this sub value, which is the sign up bonus value. I use this average point value and I times it by the sign up bonus to get a, a minimum cash value that you can ex expect from this card. So here we get the Venture $750, Amax, they offer you a lot of points, so they come out to be about 875. And then next up we have the Prefer, which is $800, and then the Sapphire Reserve is $750. So Purely based on the sign up bonus, Amex come out on top. And next up, art benefit value. I'm only consider what you can use. Equinox credit, like, it doesn't really cover much. It has to force you to spend, and you may not even have a gym around you. And then a lot of them already offer like TSA pre checks, like global entrance. So, like, I, you know, like, it, it's not really that relevant. Like, sure, it's like, oh, great benefit. But <laughs> at the end of the day, whatever you can use very easily and uh, you can spend it. It's something that uh, I put here. So we, for the Venture X, you have $300 that you can spend towards your travel that you have to book through the Capital One travel portal. That could be plane tickets, hotel, or even rental cars. So yeah, it's literally money that you can use for your next vacation. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And next up, we have the Amex. Here, you have the $200 Uber credit that you get every month. So $15 a month and then you get $30 in December. So those are some money that you can use for Uber Eats or Uber. And, uh, and besides that, you have the $200 hotel credit that you can use by booking through the Amex travel portal. So here you get $200 off one of their hotels benefits when you book those hotels, so the value could be more. But here, I just put the minimum $400. And next up, you have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Chase Sapphire Preferred only offers you $50, and uh, it's just, I mean, it's free in the first year, but the $50 you can use towards hotel through their travel portal, I believe. And uh, next up, we have the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This $300 is probably the best out of all of these because of the flexibility. You can use it on anything travel related. You don't have to book through their travel portal. 
which make it really easy to use. So that's something definitely you want to consider. So here, 400, it's really high for Amex flat, but I still label Chase because of the flexibility. You still have to book through the Amex hotel portal if you want to take advantage of the $200 credits. And some of those hotels could be very expensive. So it may not be worth it if you have to spend extra money just to get that $200 credit. That's why I put it in red. So it's kind of like a caveat, just like be careful. Here comes the winner. So based on the first year value alone, we can clearly see that the Sapphire Prefer actually comes on top. It's free the first year, it gives you a lot of points value. And the uh, Amax is just really expensive. One thing that I do want to talk about is airlines. Airline is something that you should consider before you pick a credit card, especially if you're thinking about using this credit card for travel, like converting it to uh, flights or anything. So for example, I normally fly JFK or New York, and here are the airlines that's like hub, meaning you will always have those airlines here. So it's very easy to convert to them. And uh, for example, for me, United, Delta, American, or something that's like very common. So like, you know, why before I get a credit card, I might want to think about which one of these credit card offer transfer partner to them. A, a very good tool that I use is uh, Wings of Points. So it's kind of like a tool where you can use to see exactly which transfer par part. So here you have the Chase, which transferred to a bunch of United cards. And uh, of course there's uh, JetBlue and the uh, Virgin airline on the bottom as well. And uh, here you have the Air Canada. So I'm not going to go over the detail here. I'm just going to link it below and that uh, you can take a look and really think about like which one you can think about like are you getting it for travel? Then maybe one of these airlines, the transfer partner, is uh, very important to you. Does that mean like you will always be getting this chase stuff I prefer? Mm, maybe not. So let's do something different. So here I'm doing the potential maximum amount of points you can earn. For Venture X, you will get a default two times multiplier that's going to spend the minimum spending, but on the minimum spending, you're still earning points on that. So for the Venture X, you earn about 8,000 points. And then for the Amax Plat, I'm putting 6DK here, points on restaurant purchases. And in six months for me, I can probably eat $6,000 worth of food. So I will be getting at least 60K points here. And then for the Chase Preferred, it's three times on restaurants. So again, it will be about 12K and then the reserve is about the same. So I will be using the same average point value. If I'm getting this credit card because I know I'm going to be eating out a lot and uh, getting a lot of food, then here we can see that because of the minimum spending amount that you have to spend anyways, the Amex actually come on top, at least for the first year in value. It offers you $1,000 at least. And uh, th so that's definitely something you want to consider. For me, I want to eat a lot, I want to earn points, and the Amex has one of the best uh, transfer partners out there. And um, yeah, that's something definitely you want to keep in mind. And uh, for some people, they might also care about retention offers. And the Capital One Venture X offers you 10K points every single year on your card anniversary. That's just something to offset the cost. So if you're just thinking about starting your credit card journey, then the Chase Sapphire Prefer will do the trick. It's cheap. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I will be going more in-depth about each one of these cards in my next video. So hope to see you then.